So elements for programming interviews, question 4.1, computing the parity of a word. Uh, parity of a word is um, zero, uh, binary word is zero if number of set bits um, is equal to an even number. And parity of a binary word is one if number of set bits um, uh, is equal to an odd number. In this case, we have three mod two, we have odd parity, which is one, and we have parity of zero. Um, so why don't I go ahead and you know write down the solution, uh, one of the solutions, and explain how it is calculated. So we're defining a parity function, which takes a binary word, and uh, we're going to keep track of the result, which will start with zero, and we're going to loop through each bit of a given number, and we're going to calculate our result, which is XOR with X ended with one. I will explain that in a second how that works. And we go to the next bit uh, by um, right shifting X by one, and then at the end returning the result. So what's happening here? Um, as I said, we are taking the binary word and we're gonna store the result right here. And we are, be, we are going to be iterating um, every single x so uh, given let's say uh, we take x as one zero zero one one so we're going to take a look at this particular bit then right shift by one and then we're going to look at this bit we're going to look at this bit this bit and this bit so if you're not really summing up to, uh, you know totaling number of bits set bits and then modding it because it's either one or zero we are basically going to keep track of whether it's one or zero through the program so the way it works is basically this XOR operation, right? So this here, X ended with one, what you're doing is you're taking one and you're ending it with the current number. And if this particular number, the la you know, least uh, significant bit of X is one, it's gonna return one. Um, in this case, then we're gonna right shift, right? We're gonna right shift and this number is gonna become one, zero, zero, one, right? And then we're gonna do the same thing again, but end it with one. And this is one. And then we're gonna right shift one more time. And that's gonna become zero, one, zero, zero. We right shift again. Um, so, and then we end it with one, it becomes zero. So you see how we are right shifting and ending. And we are getting either one or zero. That's what this is doing. And so what is the uh, XOR operation doing? Um, as you will remember, XOR is zero if both values are one it is zero in this case when they are zero 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 and one one is zero in other cases it's going to give you one this is a perfect operation to use when you are trying to take a mod of something i'm sorry this is going to be right if our result is already one and you have a zero that means you're going to get a one but if your result was one already and you're getting another one, that, that means that you're actually even, then your parity is zero. I hope that makes sense. So when we start here, one, zero, zero, one, one, our first number ended with one is gonna give us one, right? Currently, we have only one bit set. That means the parity of odd. But when we right shift and go to this number and end it with one again, now, what we want to do is we have two bits set. So X, we want XOR operation to give us a zero. And that's exactly what's going to do. It's going to, when, when, when the results are already one and you get another set bit, you're going to get zero. The next time you get a zero and your result was zero already, zero, zero, it's zero. But when you get to this particular bit, you know, um, your result was zero and you get a one, then you will get a result of one. So you see how this operation is working. In this particular example, we had three set bits, so this will return parity of one. I hope this makes sense.